buying and selling tokens hassle-free on a decentralized exchange without worrying if there is enough liquidity for the token, which are common issues on most decentralized exchanges, but not for Kyber Network, and because it is decentralized, no account registration or verification is required, and even no need to deposit funds on the exchange prior to trading. Or even better yet, you can use Kyber Network to swap tokens directly in MyEther wallet. In this tutorial, we will show you how it all works. Hello, Adrian here. Welcome to Exploring Exchanges for Bitcoin for Beginners, the complete guides and tutorials to understanding exchanges and how to use them. Today we will be doing Kyber Decentralized Exchange or DEX. In this tutorial we will show you how you can connect to the exchange and how to execute orders. Also I will show you how to do that natively in my Ether wallet, which makes it all the more easier. After the tutorial I will explain more about Kyber itself. If you want to skip through this video to see specific explanations, timestamps are included in the video description. And you know that your likes are very appreciated and also please subscribe if you haven't already. As per usual the disclaimer this is not financial or investment advice. You are responsible for your own money and decisions and everything here is for entertainment only. Besides that everything in this video is relevant at the time of recording. Please check yourself if all info is still up to date at the time you are watching watching this. Now let's start with the tutorial. You will find Kyber's DEX, which means decentralized exchange, currently at the domain kyber.network. Make sure you are on the right domain and that the connection is secure and has a valid certificate. First thing you need to do is check to agree with the terms and click get started. Next thing that needs to be done is importing your Ethereum wallet. This can be done by using MetaMask, a JSON file, Trezor and Ledger hardware wallets and by entering a private key. Of course for security considerations I recommend using any of the hardware wallets and if you don't have those then second option that I recommend is MetaMask. Least secure is entering the private key from your wallet but I wouldn't do that unless you are not going to use that wallet afterwards anymore and after the trading on Kyber you will send any funds to another more secure wallet or of which the private key has not been exposed yet. Other decentralized exchanges Exchanges usually offer one more feature and that is generating an address and private key pair on the website itself. Kyber doesn't offer that so you will need to have one of the available wallet options in advance before you can use the Kyber decentralized exchange. We will use MetaMask in this tutorial. So first you need to log in to the MetaMask plugin and then click the MetaMask login option. You will be entering the exchange where you will see your wallet is connected in the top right corner. The second row will show you your balance per available token on Kyber. You expand the view by clicking on the arrow on the right side of this row. Here you can see all available token balances. It will also display the total dollar value of the wallet based on latest exchange rates. As you can also see the exchange doesn't have an order book. That is because the order process is a bit different on Kyber. More about that in the overview after this tutorial. Basically we are just swapping tokens directly between wallets using a predetermined rate which is based on a fair market rate. So instead as you can see we have a very simple exchange interface. You can select which one of your current tokens you want to exchange in from and select the tokens you want to have in to. However one of them will have to be Ethereum you can directly exchange for example from Omisa Go to Engine Coin. In that example you would first need to exchange from Omisa Go to Ether and then from Ether to Engine. If for any reason you want to reverse the tokens in the order form you can click on these arrows in between that says click to swap. In this case I want to trade my Ether for Kyber's own token KNC which I can select in the to box right here. You can click whatever you want. In this case we will keep it on KNC. You see that there is also a default exchange rate given. 
right here. This rate is based on a fair market price across different other exchanges. And it shows you in this case how much KNC you can exchange for one Ether. Optionally, you can check if the given rate is indeed near the current market price by looking it up on Cohen Market Cap. Go to Cohen Market Cap, search KNC, scroll down, choose markets, scroll down again change currency into ether and here you will see the average prices okay now we go back to uh, prices here the price that is mentioned here is the reverse price so if we just click to swap it will recalculate price and you see it's around 22 so now we know the price is more or less near the current market prices so now you can either enter how much ether you want to sell or how much k and c you want to buy and the counter amount will be calculated automatically based on the default rate so either i say 0.1 ether or i make it 45 k and c and you see it gets automatically adjusted the minimal amount that you can trade is 0.001 ether and if you click on the amount after address balance it will use the entire balance like this but in this case we will just buy 40 all that is left is click the exchange button and your order will be submitted click exchange press confirm to continue the metamask notification will be opened there you can click submit and now it says waiting for the transaction to be mined and in the small hamburger menu in the top right corner you can see your transaction here and if you click on it you will see the transaction on etherscan right here and you see it's been successful you see done successfully exchange and after you've added the token in my ether wallet you can clearly see that the balance is updated i now have 40 kyber network crystal tokens so basically in kyber you can only do the centralized exchange equivalent of market orders but not really use limit order functionality you can however influence the success rate for orders to be executed in volatile circumstances by allowing a higher slippage in the advanced options for which you can click the advanced button here it will show you the default minimum rate that the trade can execute for that's right here by putting a lower price you increase the success rate by putting a higher price the chance of your order failing will also increase in the advanced menu you can also adjust the transaction speed by adjusting the gas price estimated transaction times are shown when hovering over them or you can type the desired gas price manually. However, the slower the transaction time, the more the price can fluctuate, and if the price goes against you in the time being, the order might fail to execute. One more thing to be aware of, after 50 minutes of inactivity on the platform, your session will be terminated. Any unconfirmed actions or settings will then be erased. To continue, you will have to import your wallet again. By the way, I would like to ask you if you like this video, please Please give a thumbs up by hitting the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Click the bell button too so you get instant updates from our new content. So the next thing you can also do is using Kyber for swapping tokens directly from the MyEther wallet integration. I will show you now how to do that. Just go to my ether wallet, go to swap, and then you will see here that you can swap Ethereum for Bitcoin. If you use swapping for Bitcoin, you will actually use another integration. But if you choose any of the available ERC20 tokens, you will be using Kyber network. So you will enter the amount. I believe we had 40 Kyber tokens. The price indeed is around the market rate that we had just seen and now all that is left is click let's do this then you need to enter your address which is your own ether wallet address in this case from metamask so i'll just open metamask i can copy address to clipboard and then just paste here start swap then click metamask connect to metamask it says wallet unlocked and it's now processing and then you click start swap you are about to send 40 kyber network token yes i am sure make transaction metamask 
opens confirm transaction form you click submit now you will still need to open metamask again but because there is another message to be confirmed you will submit this one as well pay attention site will say that you should not navigate away or close the browser in the time that the transaction is being processed but when it's done you will see all transactions have been confirmed here you can click on this transaction hash and it will open etherscan and once it's been mined you see a successful transaction and if you go to your wallet you see that my Kyber network tokens have been swapped for the Ether balance. So now that's basically all you need to know to be able to trade tokens with Kyber. Now let's give you an overview of Kyber itself. As said before, Kyber is a decentralized exchange that is funded through an ICO in 2017 where they sold the KNC token. The token doesn't have a significant use for traders on the platform. It is more for reserve managers and third-party services that can utilize the token. As a project initially designed for the Ethereum network, Kyber is remarkable because it is one out of the two only projects that are actively endorsed by Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin. Vitalik also appears on the Kyber website as an advisor. The way Kyber is unique as a decentralized exchange is that it provides more liquidity in available tokens than the other DEX alternatives like Ether Delta, Fork Delta or IDEX. They achieve this by a system where so-called reserve managers of each available token maintain a liquidity pool of that token, so there is always a supply for it available. This is also the reason that on Kyber currently only 25 tokens are listed. Other tokens can only be listed if a new reserve manager with enough funds in the token can be registered with Kyber. As the Kyber ecosystem grows we can expect a lot more tokens to be listed on Kyber in the near future. At the moment Kyber only supports trading in Ethereum based tokens but they aim to make cross chain exchange with for example bitcoin possible in the future kyber is a very promising service as decentralized exchange with a very clean and user-friendly interface and also very good user experience because of the fast and reliable execution other advantage is that you directly trade from your wallet so not any form of depositing is needed to be able to exchange tokens and on top of that swapping tokens by using kyber natively in my ether wallet makes it all the more seamless. Kyber is definitely the most beginner friendly option within the space of decentralized exchanges in my opinion. So before buying your desired token on any exchange I would first check out if it is listed on Kyber and try to exchange it there or through my Ether wallet before using any other exchange option. That was it for today's tutorial about Kyber network. I hope this video was helpful. If so, thank you for your likes and subscribes to the channel for more of our content. If you have more questions leave a comment below if you like this video please watch one of these other recommended beginner friendly videos next and i will see you in the next one